Pur namaste, pur namaste. It's time for another maybe short video. Shorter video, yes. You know, because always when I finish the video, I always remember what is more to speak. So I'm gonna speak now this, you know. I give you my word, welcome to the art of the word that I am from the heart. Anyway, this matrix is matrix of separation. Matrix of opposition, control. Why? Because always two parts of the yin and yang are separated. And just like two lovers, they need each other, they cry for, for each other, and they go crazy, they control each other, they oppose each other. Like we have lovers, you know, lovers in the matrix. I don't want no romantic relationship, I don't know, ever in this life, because I just want intimate friendships. But I can speak about the romantic love very much. Anyway, lovers in this world, like maybe one has compassion, love, artistic expression, and all this forgiveness and this softness, and then the other partner they, ha they have he or she, they have, you know, you know what they have. They have order, structure, materially they are well, and others are spiritually well. And then what happens in this world? We forgot the parts of ourselves within ourselves. And we see it in others. And then we want from them. But from them then we get attachment. That's why I don't like attachment. I hate attachment. Nobody should get attached at me because my mission is to destroy attachment. I cannot stand it. I was getting free 20 years of attachments and attachments keep us in this world. So I don't want that. But then come attachments. And you know what comes then out of attachments? Fear of losing. Because they want from each other what they can find only out of them in themselves. But they cannot get it. They push each other far away. They start fighting. They start drama. Because they want from each other what they actually can find only within themselves. And then they're fighting. You know. They cannot never get it from another. And you get only suffering in the need of love. Suffering in the, you know, suffering in need of love and suffering demanding love in control, opposition, force, which are the energies in which love cannot exist. Love is total freedom. I feel attachment. I don't like how we put it. It's not good. It keeps us in this world. And then, you know, lovers suffer and then realize they suffer within so they miss they are missing within they are not missing the another they don't want another they are missing something because it hurts them within and then you know then they gradually learn that they find this within themselves and then they are forever happy i don't need nobody to love but i need to love you all i mean love in everyone that i am and let it be like this. I'm married to all of you. But anyway, I wanted to speak something else. This matrix of separation, the first example was about lovers. But now let me give a second example. Beloved lovers. Like we are the awakened ones, hippies, shamans. We are so good. Huh? We are the best. So there is ego. We are, we are better than those Awake those asleep drones in the matrix. They are the sheeple. You see, again, we have spirituality, compassion, forgiveness, joy, love, peace, artistic expression. And what they have? They have order, structure, materially, they are well. So once again, the opposites are two sides of the same coin. 
which actually need each other. We need structure, we need order, we need material grounding can materially be well in this world and they need spiritual awakening and they need love happiness in the heart so that they can enjoy their wealth and we need wealth so we can spread love and have a good life like one friend said you have to free yourself materially not only spiritually this was my mistake so actually all the opposite parties need each other. You see, the hippies cannot live without those drones in the matrix sleeping. They feel we are better. Again, ego of separation. And they are better. They think they are better, those sleeping drones in the matrix sheep, or they think they are better. But you know, in my village, everyone loves me because I never look at nobody like this. I'm not speaking spirituality to them, I'm telling them crazy jokes and they all love me. Because I'm not seeing them as something else as I am. I was raised by Zen, I love Zen, and in Zen, Buddha and uh, a drunkard are just the same. Just that the Buddha remembered who he is and drunkard, well, eventually also remember who he is, but now he is asleep so you see we need each other like racist they need for example black people because if there are no black people racist cannot exist they need and if the black people would disappear tomorrow the one who will be most sad and most hurt by that will be the racist because he will lose his identity his meaning of life his purpose his movement, his work, everything he will lose. So the parties need each other and they're actually fighting always, but they need the qualities that others have, like hippies need structure and order and material wellness in this world. And those uh, asleep people, they need, you know, they need what they need. They need spiritual awakening, happiness, love, bliss, joy, out of nothing, out of love, you know. So, in this world of separation, always the parties that are separated are actually one and are searching for each other and fighting like lovers because they have to find that in themselves, they want that from another. So you see, such is the law in the matrix. Such is the law in the matrix, you know. And so it is, and it cannot be that different. So because I wanted to say something that is related to the yesterday's video. And in yesterday's video, I was speaking about Cabal. They are not actually evil. That the condition in this world would be very worse if they would not be here, because everyone would be able to kill you, rape you, and steal from you, violate you in any way, and now they are afraid of the of police, they are afraid of the court, and they are afraid of the distings. But let me tell you something, you know, we are unconscious of our shadows, we may control, oppose, violate others, we may deceive, ma ma manipulate out of attachment, control, oppose, lie, you know, and we saying this cabal is very evil. Cabal is very evil, you know. And it's just a game. Because Cabal is actually who we are. They are the reflection of what we're doing against natural law. Violating energy of others, controlling in any way. They're showing us by controlling, violating us. We think they are bad, they are evil, they are satanists, and it is true, they are bad, they are evil, you know. But this game is completely insane, because if you look at it, when they look at human beings, Bill Gates and all these motherfuckers, Klaus the Schwabas, Elon Musk, the AC, 
Yeah, you know, just beware because the AC, the Antichrist is on earth. And every and the people already in America worshiping him. So, you know, the one billionaire telling that he will save America, you know, he put him on the altar. The beast is artificial intelligence, living being without a soul. Bible. So yes, worship billionaires. But it is written, the whole world will worship him. He will bring peace for some years. And you already see who they worship. <laughs> Savior of America. Anyway, we are in politics now. So I was like this. this. This people, when they look at us, they look at humanity, they very well know that if they stop the system of control and oppression now, there's no police. There's no laws. They know we will destroy ourselves and everything. So they look at us also as evil and they feel feel they are justified to control us, to oppress us because we, they see us as cancer in this world. They see their unconscious shadow in us. We are the cancer of this world, but we are also because we are going against natural law, we violate the energies of others and mother nature. Ourself. When I look at the majority, so in the sixth sense, they are actually, in the sixth sense, they are actually taking care that we do not kill each other. Isn't this insane? They, we, we look at them as evil, they look at us as evil. And actually, Funny game, because everything is getting expensive, just ecological food not. It's becoming the same prices. And these motherfuckers, they know that the people asleep will only take their poisons. They know we will survive. So who are the 500 million here? Hmm. They are very evil. They see humanity as evil with justified cause, because... If police stops existing, you know what happens. And we see them as evil. And same is with left and right politicians. So what we have to do, we see there's no evil. They are the reflection of the evil within us. I'm not protecting cabal. No way, they are evil satanists. If I would fight them, I would fight them with all my power. to be removed but in my heart I would know the truth that I telling you that I'm fighting the shadow within me shadow within you shadow within you so we have to see that the evil of the cabal is the evil unconscious within us they control us somebody may control their wife they give us conditions force us, manipulate us. If you do that, you can go with your friends out. They you cannot go. If you take this thing in your shoulder, you can go out, you can be free. You see the pattern. So we have to see there's no evil. And I'll say same as left and right politicians. They both are doing good things and pretty, pretty fucked up things. The left and right. The two sides, two two wings of the one bird they doing and they are missing left is fighting for some good things and right and if they would you know and they are fighting each other but actually what they have each other need because they are only seeing the half of the truth and half of the lies and deception they put 
And they are actually one. And they know they are one, but we don't. So, the drunk neighbor there is my brother, just like you, or my sister and my brother. And in this world, separation always the opposite parts are fighting. This is the game. And you know what is uh, this is the game and that's how game goes in this world this is the world of separation and opposition so you see the two sides let us say Russia and the West let us say Catholics and the Muslim when they were fighting in the Middle Ages. Let us say in inquisitors and awakened goddesses and gods who were called witches, who were just like Christ. Always, if you see the Russia, Russia think they're good. Russia think they're fighting for good cause. They are the good bad guys and the America is the bad guy. And America is thinking, saying, we are the good guys. And they are the bad. But they're both evil. Because the evil is the bad that is convinced that is good, killing, destroying, and arranging famines and all this. You see, so always in the matrix, regardless of the awakened hippies like we are, or they are people asleep in the matrix. Always, both of them think we are good, they are bad. The separation and opposition. And now we can point a finger so our ego can be good. Russian and American think we are good, they are bad. Both of them think we are good. When they went to crusades, the Catholic army thought we are good. And the Islam army thought they are good. When they are Islam fighting uh, is Islamic terrorism, which is actually a false flag, and um, America, but I'm giving the example. Like they are thinking they are good, they are thinking they are good. And if you think, see the fighters in the uh, Islamic world, they are, come on. USA is a war criminal for decades, more, centuries, actually. But they justified, you killed all my family, you did this, then these motherfuckers abducted me, trained me into the killer, and yes, you are the menace to society. And the American thinking the Islam is a menace to society and all the Islamic terrorists. But actually, they both think they are good and think, God is their bad. And the same. Cabal think they are good and we are bad. And we think we are good, they are bad. But actually, we have to unite the opposites. We actually have to find that actually what we hate in this world and what is fighting in this world is actually part of us. We hate the darkness. Attacking the darkness, we see the darkness of the cabal. We are unconscious of the darkness within. We fight our own darkness because we are doing these things on the macro scale in the relationships that they are doing to us all. So we have to unite the opposites in our heart. So we hate the darkness because we are unconscious of our shadows. We bring our shadows to consciousness. We see that the evil that is controlling the world is the evil that is in my heart. Unconscious. We bring it to consciousness and the darkness unites with the light. There's no more separation. You know. Now you no more opposing, attacking others. And your mind no more opposing, attacking, blaming you, judging you. You no more search yourself from another. You are being yourself, doing what you love from the heart. Like I do now, I give you my word from the heart. And you know what? And then uh, you let others be because they don't touch you. They don't violate you in any way. Violate your energy. Do nothing that doesn't feel right in your energy. You let them be. It's a beautiful world. Peace on earth. And when others attack you, your ego, no more, your darkness, no more unconscious, blaming you, judging you that you are not good enough, telling you you're bad, blaming you, afraid of you. No, you're being yourself and letting others be as they feel. 
And now, when others violate you, control you, force you, do anything to you, what you do to no other, what happens then? Huh? Beloved angels, what happens then? Your ego, your darkness is no more unconscious, attacking you and others, but it's holding your light like a lover holding the beloved queen. And it's dark so that she can shine in all her heavenly glory. And when they try to take your light away, oppose you, violate you, blame you, tell no, I don't do this to you. You will not do this to me. Get the fuck out of here. Now you will see the power of the darkness protecting the light like the prince is protecting the princess. The darkness. Now, in this world, darkness is opposing you, me, uh, with afraid of myself, blaming myself for who I am, judging, judge, judging myself, analyzing myself, controlling myself, and others, and others, and others, violation, separation. Yeah. Then conflict, slavery, drama, wars, and all kind of shit. Separation, searching for each other. But when darkness and light unite, our darkness is protecting our light, holding our light, not attacking our light, and naturally not attacking lights of others. And when unconscious darkness of others attacking our light, protecting the light. So same as if you want a lover. Don't search for lover. Don't get attached to anyone. Especially not me, because my mission is to teach this and to de destroy attachments. You want somebody outside of yourself, but you... Everybody, me, we are missing the parts of ourselves that we want from another within ourselves. Like, we may miss freedom, we may miss control, we may miss uh, uh, very, you know, confidence, we may miss, you know, all these things. We see that in others. We want it from them, but then they only show us. Yes, attachment is the root cause of pain. We want that from them. Then they back off. The drama fighting starts, they only show us that it hurts within. We need that within, so we find that within. Because others will not give us that. We need that ourselves. If I need control, order, structure, no woman will give it to me. Because I will need that in my life for myself. And if you want it from a partner, you get suffering. It reminds you that you don't have it. It hurts you there where you don't have it. And more you want it from them, more you suffer because you cannot. And then you know what happens. Then you go work on yourself, you find that within yourself. Then you have your own control, your own power. Or your own love, your own compassion, your own forgiveness, your own third eye open. And then you find in yourself what you were searching in another, in the world of separation. And you no more need no other, you are that happy love that you are always seeking in this world. And you, from the heart, you don't need love, you are happy, you can be forever all in your life alone. And you just need the love. And you will love, anyway, I don't want relationships anymore like that. But you will go with someone who is completely only, because only in the, such a relationship there's no problems when you can don't have to explain yourself one time. So if you have to explain yourself, this is friendship, this is brotherhood, but it cannot be uh, loving. Then you will go only with someone who has the same ge geometry of the soul and the mind. So that you love to do things that you love to do together. And you love to do things that you love, she loves to do together. Because you love to do the same things. But if not, you will be alone because you needed that from a man or a woman. You find that in yourself. It is compassion, power, structure. Like this. Anyway, enough. So darkness and light must unite in the world of separation when opposites actually search for each other. I give you my word anyway. Much love, much love. Feel the love I'm giving you. Much love and something else. Much love and much love and thank you and thank you and thank you. And if anybody wants to give donation for this pearls, diamonds I'm giving you, Word that I'm free for everyone. I don't want no force, no guilt, no fear. But if anybody wants to help my mission, to assist my mission in giving we receive from the heart in their joy, I accept everything what is given to, to, to me with gratitude from the heart. Really, 
nothing is too much, nothing is too little, but only love given from the heart. And if there's something in my heart for you, some blessings, let it come to you. I don't know. I give you my word. We are in this together, sending you love and kisses. Purnamaste. Purnamaste.